parents, guardians, grandparents, special guests, and of course, our honored students. We are pleased you are joining us for the Keith Lutz Horizon High School December 2020 Senior Recognition Video. This is our first Senior Recognition Video, and we are extremely grateful for the opportunity to honor our very special graduates. Today is about the students, but before we get to them, I'd like to recognize the adults who come to work each and every day, wear their hearts on their sleeves, and dedicate themselves to helping our students achieve their goals. They, and your students, are the reason our program succeeds. Our staff consists of Assistant Principal, Dr. Emily Brosnan. Our faculty is made up of Mr. Brandon Anderson, Ms. Rose Bernstein, Ms. Abby Bjornsson, Ms. Terry Dolish, Mr. Tony Gonzalez, Ms. Sonia Greisel, Ms. Shannon Jennings, Ms. Stacy Johnston, Mr. Barry Johnston, who is serving as a long-term substitute, Mr. Eric Little, Ms. Kelly McWilliams, Mr. Logan Miller, Mr. Mike Mixon, Ms. Sarah Morrison, Ms. Amanda Parker, Ms. Caitlin Polly, Ms. Nancy Poma, Mr. Justin Sonnenfeld, Mr. Mark Stegman, and Ms. Jess Saren. We also have a fabulous support staff, and they consist of Ms. Grace Baker, Ms. Cindy Dark, Ms. Edie Krasny, Deputy Jared Langemeyer, Ms. Kim Loretta, Mr. Mike Mason, Ms. Nicole Maurer Harvey, Ms. Katie McGranahan, Ms. Nicole Nelson, Mr. Tuck Porta, Ms. Stephanie Raymond, Ms. Dee Dee Sporlater, and Mr. Mike Stafford. The people I have just mentioned are some of the most compassionate, caring, and intelligent people you will ever meet. I am Ms. Julie Kemp, and I am both honored and humbled to serve as their principal. And now, to our honored students. When you first visited Horizon for our sneak peek, we framed our message with our motto, we believe, we care, together we shine. It seems fitting that it, as you get ready to leave Horizon, we frame our message in the very same way. We believe. When you entered Horizon, we shared with you that we believed in you. We believed in your abilities, we believed in your desire to earn a high school diploma, and we believed in your fresh start. Honored students, by completing your high school career, you are echo echoing those very same belief statements about yourself. You knew you could succeed, and succeed you have. Each of you has earned 230 or more credits. Each of you has demonstrated proficiency by passing exams in math, reading, and writing. Three of you are graduating early, just two semesters into your senior year. But most, of, most important of all is your belief in yourself. A belief so strong that you were able to navigate any obstacle that may have been in your way, including, by the way, a global pandemic. According to Webster's Dictionary, believe means to have trust in the goodness or ability of someone. The adults who dedicate themselves to their work at Horizon have joined with those watching this video with you and have consistently demonstrated their belief in you. Honor them by believing in others. Have faith in another's worth and share your heart by helping them see their own worth. You know how to do this. It has been demonstrated for you every single day in this building. When you are uncertain how to share your belief in another person, think about your favorite adult at Horizon and repeat their actions. Use the examples you have been given to believe in and support others. You see, as you do this, you honor the people who have influenced you and you make our world a better place. We care. According to dictionary.com, care means to feel concern or interest, to attach importance to something. When you entered Horizon, we told you we cared about you. 
so much so that we would ask you about whether you had a mentoring relationship with an adult in this building. I am pleased to say that as you graduate, each and every one of you feels you have at least one adult at Horizon who cares about you and mentors you. You see, every person employed at Horizon is hired because they care. They care about your education, they care about humanity, and most importantly, they care about you. I'm going to stop right now and ask you to think. Think about a time when someone showed you concern, interest, or made you feel important. In other words, they showed you they cared. My guess is you were able to think of not just one, but several examples. It is likely your example made an impact on you. Together, we shine. Educators choose to teach to make an impact and to make a difference in the lives of others. The educators at Horizon have invested much of themselves in you. And here it comes, the ask. We ask you to believe in yourself and others. Repeat with others some of the same behaviors you've experienced with the adults of Horizon when they express belief in you. We ask you to care deeply. Your thoughts, opinions, and ideas matter. Share them with kindness. Draw on the examples you just thought about and demonstrate care in a similar manner. Finally, we ask you to help us shine. When you do well, we do well. Stay connected with Horizon. If you are not currently following us on Twitter, please do that right now. I know you have your phones out. Come back and visit us and share your talents with our future students. Your greatness fills us with pride. It is also an affirmation that we have chosen the right career. You are part of our together. Go out and shine. Horizon graduates of 2020, I want to start by saying congratulations to our graduates, our families, and our staff here at Horizon. As I think of our graduates, I think about the fact that not long ago, each one of you was a small child getting ready to enter school. Your families may now be wondering where the time has gone and how you stepped into this role of young ladies and gentlemen. It has taken work and perseverance. And while your road may have included twists and turns and hills and valleys, you have navigated it successfully to reach this moment. We are proud of you, and we hope you continue to use the lessons you have learned here at Horizon to pursue the immense amount of opportunities in front of you. We wish you luck and hope you visit us so we can continue to celebrate your successes. Hello, congratulations to the graduates this quarter at Horizon High. Um, I just wanna say we're proud of you. Uh, you guys stuck through perhaps one of the uh, toughest points of, of, of your life and our lives. So congratulations, you guys stuck with it. You guys were able to adapt and change to the changing times that you were facing. So congratulations, you should be proud of yourselves and your accomplishment. Also like to say congratulations to the parents, uh, step parents, grandparents, uh, mentors, and anybody else that had uh, help uh, with, with you graduating. Um, they put in the work as well, making sure you were able to Zoom or to get to class to do what it is you had to do to succeed. So. Uh, congratulations to you as well. This is your achievement uh, as well. And I'd also like to say thank you to the teachers and administrators uh, that help adapt and, and change the process as well. Um, you guys should be commended as well. You guys did what you had to do uh, to make sure these students were successful in a dream that they and their families had set up long, long ago. We are fortunate today to have two senior speakers. Kyle Ziegler comes to us from Millard West High School and Russell Middle School. So the first thing I'd like to say is that this school has completely changed my mindset when it comes to school. I never liked school, ever. I would always get fours and fives in every single class and ever since I came here I've been ten times more confident in what I'm doing and everyone has been so kind and helpful. I. I don't know quite what to say other than my dad was so impressed with me when he saw I was actually excited to go to school for once. I used to dread it every single morning. I'd pretend to be sick. I mean, I would always have an excuse on why not to go.
but now I want to be here and I'm excited to do the things I can. I didn't even think I was going to graduate and here I am graduating in December of 2020. That's pretty nuts to me and I have everyone here to thank for it. Jaden Van Ornum also joins us from Millard West High School and Beetle Middle School. When I first came to Horizon, school was my last priority and I couldn't say that I had any real friends. Coming to Horizon turned out to be one of the best things that had ever happened to me. I made friends that I'll have for the rest of my life and I'm the most confident in myself that I've ever been. I want to thank Mr. Sonnenfeld for teaching me the value of earning a letter grade as opposed to scraping by with a four. He taught me the value of an education, not just a grade. I also want to thank Ms. Baker and Ms. Krasny for helping me push through my U.S. History and English 11 classes in credit recovery and Ms. G for being Ms. G. I can't express how grateful I am that I got to attend this school. I've made connections with teachers that I didn't think were possible for someone like me. Horizon has taught me skills that I'll use for the rest of my life, like how to be confident in myself and how to set goals for myself. This school feels more like a second home to me than it does a high school. I'll never forget what the school has done for me. Words can't express how thankful I am for the opportunity that I got to attend this school, and I couldn't be more proud to be a Horizon student. And now, the moment you have all been waiting for. Diplomas will be granted by your home schools. Your senior recognition certificates have been mailed to you, and I ta ask you to take them out now. While you are doing that, your Horizon Time teachers would like to share a few words our staff has said about you. Brad persevered through some challenging circumstances. He has a kind heart. Um, I would agree with all those things. Um, I'm definitely going to miss you and I'm, I'm so proud of you uh, for sticking this out and uh, getting this done because we know that there's some, some awesome things that lie ahead for Brad. Congratulations. Miguel solid and consistent in class. A note from Mr. Little says that Miguel was a great craftsman and a skilled potter, always kind and respectful. Respectful in the way that Miguel made a great contribution to Horizon High School. Congratulations, Miguel. Izzy is determined with fresh ideas and plans to implement them. On a personal note, Izzy was usually remote for my HT time, and often there were issues with that. However, she always made my day with various funnies when she checked in. Congratulations, Izzy. Reagan is an intelligent young woman with great aspirations. She shared that she wants to be a physical therapist and has goals to make that happen. Best wishes, Reagan. And this is from our favorite sub, Mr. J. Mr. J said, um, Reagan is truly a delight to have in class. She has serious opinions that are well-founded in fact and is not afraid to offer them. Her bright and clever way with words will enhance any conversation. I predict that years from now, Reagan will truly be a positive force to be reckoned with she is absolutely wonderful. And I'll piggyback on that. Uh, I had Reagan for two semesters. And the first semester she was here, she went through a little adversity and her brother got in a car accident. And um, she stayed focused. Um, she, she took care of him as much she could, visited him as much she could, but really stayed, um, but really stayed on task and, and did what had to do to graduate. I had her in PE first semester and because of COVID, we couldn't do much, but we went on a lot of walks and had some really good conversations and it was just a delight to, to have her in class. So good luck, Reagan, and get that, far, that physical therapist job that you always wanted. Sharice was dedicated to finishing high school on her own terms. She has a strong and independent spirit. She's an intelligent young woman. Credit recovery was no barrier for her. She worked hard to get it all done and make graduation happen. She is respectful and kind. She is determined and will be successful at whatever she puts her mind to. Sharice, I would echo all the comments that your teachers have shared, but I think what I'm gonna miss most um, is your unique sense of humor. Over the last two semesters, it's been really fun um, being around that and it just, it energizes me and I would imagine that uh, others feel the same as well. Um, I want you to know that I'm proud of you. 
um, that you're going to be missed and that we know you have some big things lying ahead for you. Jaden Van Orem has been a dedicated student to make graduation happen. Eager to evaluate new ideas, then offer insightful comments about those ideas. He has been a credit to everybody and a credit recovery king. He will succeed in whatever he puts his mind to, which I understand from this morning is to be a, a diesel mechanic. He will be a good one too. Jaden is intelligent, polite, and caring. A young man who will greatly be missed at our school. Congratulations, Jaden. Keyshawn is quiet, observant, respectful, and just a great all-around person. He is also persistent, steadily working on his classwork and successfully getting through all of the challenges this year has thrown his way. We will miss seeing him in the hallways. Congratulations, Keyshawn. We all wish the best of luck for you moving forward. According to other instructors that Kyle has had, uh, some quotes that I got from them is that Kyle is headstrong, knows exactly what she wants. With her planning skills, she has already has the beginning of her life after high school planned, and despite fears and obstacles she's been through, nothing has stopped her. Another teacher shared with me that Kyle is an ambitious, intelligent young woman. He's successful at whatever she puts her mind to, and we have been very fortunate to get to know her here at Horizon. And for myself, um, Kyle has been such a pleasure. She has set a record for how quickly she completed the math ELO class, a record that probably will never be touched, let alone broken. And that drive will absolutely help her succeed in whatever she decides to do down the road. So good luck and congratulations. We are nearly to the end of our video. I'd like to thank Ms. Ashley Nodgard, Multimedia Facilitator, for her incredible work to help us produce this video in honor of our graduates. Honored students, you have left a large impression on Horizon. You allowed us to believe in you. You allowed us to care about you. Now, go live our motto and show the world that together we shine. But before you do that, one last very important thing. As principal of Keith Lutz Horizon High School, it is my greatest honor to recognize each of you for your work and dedication as you become graduates of Millard Public Schools. Congratulations, you have earned your tassel. <laughs>